Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of um, one of my EDCs. I have two EDCs and they go hand in hand together. I carry them most of the time, both of them everywhere I go. Um, but I'd really like to introduce you to Thelma and Louise. Thelma is my EDC that is basically a check register. It's only for budgeting for money. Anything that I spend, anything that I earn goes into Thelma. And then Louise is her sidekick. Um, Louise is basically my productivity. Anything that I want to do or get done goes in here. Now, Thelma has gotten me into some trouble. Rightly so, she's named Thelma. <laughs> Thelma can go off on a tangent and get ninja fingers and click, 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 but next thing you know, she owns the world and can't afford to do anything. <laughs> Hence, Louise. <laughs> Louise is more, Louise needs to keep Thelma in track. So anyways, today we are going to be doing a flip through of Thelma. Now, um, as of right now, I use this cover um, that's basically a uh, waitress um, little flap where they put their like orders and things for waitresses. Um, I ordered this off Amazon really quick. It's really pretty. It's really smooth and soft. It's like a plastic type of thing and it has like beautiful um, glitter. I don't know if you could see it in the light, but it has really pretty glitter. But it doesn't take very much and I tend to overpack my planners. They get a little chunky because of all the little pretties I like to add to it. Um, Thelma herself isn't very fat, but when you add everything that I put in, she is. She could easily fit in this cover without any problems if I didn't add things to her. But of course I wanted the, you know, glittery plastic cover so that, um, I won't ruin my cover and I wanted to add some papers and things so we're gonna go ahead and get into what is inside Thelma and usually since you know this is my um, budget planner I keep my driver's license and my bank card right here so I'm trying to keep the um, flip through as real as possible. That's why I didn't like decorate it up or anything. Basically, that's everything This is usually how I carry it around with me um, Sometimes I take the dangles off because they can be a t get too much Be a bit too much out and about and I don't want to lose them. But other than that um, I don't really carry anything in here. This is where I put my receipts um, This is where I like I just got a gift card for Christmas So I put that in there and then I put my driver's license and ID uh, bank card right here and then I have um, this plastic cover that I got from Happy Scrappy. And before you look at my um, planner and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I didn't know if it fits well. It didn't really fit very well. I had to cut her down quite a bit. It's Cause the nuance planner that I have, um, it's like, it hangs over the edge of the I'm using the Hobonichi Weeks and um, it hangs over a little bit so I had to cut the edges off in order to fit and while I was trying to put her inside of the plastic cover um, it ripped a little bit so um, that's something to think about if you really want to get this cover but I really wanted this sparkly cover I don't know if you could tell it's like holographic it's so pretty you guys and I really wanted to cover my planner with it so I made it work for me and then I just cut a little piece of, I bought this digital paper from Etsy, a shop called Philo Delight, and she has a lot of really pretty um, um, printables, and I just bought the biggest size that she had. It's for a planner, and then they were like dashboards or dividers for a planner, and I got them and cut them down to fit my Hobonichi. And then one of the extra pieces um, I cut as a die cut and stuck it in the front there. So that's one of the divider papers. Isn't it pretty? And then the first part right here, again, I just cut up pieces and here's another divider. And then 
just glued them on. This front part right here, I'm not going to be using the other side, so I just keep um, sticky notes in it. It had 2020, 2019, and 2021. Um, I don't know if I'll use 2021 because I'll probably buy a new planner by then and not use this one. But um, And I don't do that far ahead in future planning, so basically I'm going to be using this as like when are my bills due, when are my paydays, things like that. Just like a forward at a glance. I do color code, so I will be filling that in. I color code in here and I'll show you later. Then this page here, I'm going to be using it as when I paid and what I paid for my bills. So I made a list of like on payday, I only get paid once a month. On payday, I pay all of my bills that are set bills that I have to pay for a specific date and then after that um, little things come in I will be paying them so I would like to keep like a year at a glance just to see was I late on my rent you know which I doubt but when did this bill come up did I pay it on time blah 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 so for that reason I am going to be keeping all my bills right here and then the, I wasn't sure on how I was going to be using the monthly view only because I used to track my um, like future planning or like future bills to come in here but I don't refer to it very often and I'm more of a like live in my weekly pages so for that reason I was like you know what I don't think that's really working for me um, for this I'm probably going to track my spendings, um, how much I spend per day and when I didn't have like, when I didn't spend anything like, I'm basically be, gonna be trying to do a no spend this year, like the whole year, other than I have a few subscriptions that I'm committed to, but, but other than that I really don't want to be um, spending any money extra on my planning supplies. I have, Lord knows I have plenty to last me for a couple of years at least. <laughs> But anyway, so here I'm going to be tracking like what I spent and where I spent it and then it'll give me a good reference when say I bought like Shine Sticker Studio stickers here and um, when they came in I'll put a little shipping date so basically going to be tracking my happy mail right here so that's a good place to do that I think. And then on my weekly views, I'm going to be using this as the check register, like every single thing I spent, when I bought groceries, how much I spent on, you know, school supplies, how much I spent on um, gas, you know, every, every little thing that I spend, I will be writing it here for this week. On this side, I will be, this is where I'll be forward panning. If I have a, like a bill due coming up, I have two bills coming up this week in particular. So I'll put down a sticker of, okay, this bill is due, this bill is due, and then um, here exactly what I spent where. So that's how I'm going to be using my weeklies. This, of course, is a Hobonichi Weeks, and you didn't know. These little um, dividers are from um, Sweet Koi Designs. And then in the back... I haven't decided what I'm going to be. This is a regular, um, a regular Hobonichi Weeks. It's not the mega with the extra space. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to be doing with the extra notes pages that come back here. I think I was planning to do, I was thinking of doing like a monthly budget every single month. And what I did here was they had the one, my 100 in the back back here. So I kind of like cut them out. And then I just tip them in in here so that I could use them as an index. Since there is about 100 pages, I think it's like 70, yeah, 69 pages in there. So I'm going to be using that as um, um, an index, basically. And then this, I just made this with um, some glitter scalloped edges from um, the Planner Society. And then I used a vinyl um, decal sticker from um, Scribble Prints Co. And then that's the back of my planner. I just used more of the dividers. This I actually made myself a card holder. And um, this is where I put all my credit cards. 
This is where I put all my credit cards. So if you, I have a DIY on this, if you're interested in making one of these for yourself, I can leave a link in the description box. And then the back of my planner. And then here I just have a couple of those cute little envelopes. This one was a digital um, printable from uh, Shine Sticker Studio. And I just printed it and stuck it in this um, envelope from Happy Scrappy with the scallop and little star. It's really cute. It's glittery too if you can't see it like holographic. Here's another one. This one's empty. And I just took these back here for cash envelopes. A little bit of budget stickers. And then the back again, I told you I keep it really simple. Back here I keep um, my insurance cards and my son's immunization cards. Some post-it notes, paper clip, my pen. And that's about it for Thelma. She gets a little chunky, as you can see. I have a couple other covers ordered that I'm gonna be transferring Louise to. And I think when I do that, I'll just take the print pressions cover that I have on Louise and put Thelma in. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Thelma, guys. And how I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks as a budget tracker or um, check register, so to speak, like a wallet, basically. Um, if you would like to see a flip through of Louise here, then definitely hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. All feedback is appreciated. Until next time, happy planning everyone. Bye!